Right, we have here another thing called Um So, like, I'm kind of buzzing about going to the gym. <laughs> I was just down there um, at the barbers and I was chatting to him. And there's a couple of dudes outside. And as I was chatting, I said, oh, I'm up to the gym in a minute. And things like that. And can you spot me? And I was like... But actually, what I might do is go, like, like walk up to them like that and go, Bro, do you want to get a spot on the fucking bench, mate? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Do my last go, Yes, you fucking cunts! Nice one! Fucking hit him on the back. I'll give him an headlock and fucking knuckle his head. And then kiss him. And get cunts. <laughs> <laughs> but the dude is fucking pissing himself. But it's like, it's sort of made me think, yeah, there is a bit of trepidation about it. But, um... I can't wait to see the geezer that I have seen in there. I think he's plod. He looks at me funny. Uh, he he recognised me the other day. I didn't really want to say hello to him. Um, I don't like him. But um, years ago, this was, I was with a girl I was dating. And she was in, uh, I think it was Sports Direct. And there's this fucking massive rack of boxes. And she was like, Betty can I pick your boxes? And I was like, yeah, go for it. And I just walked away thinking, she's going to go for the pink ones. I know she is. And she didn't disappoint. <laughs> of course she went for them. And she went for some like orange and blue and pink and white stripy ones, which I think I still have, actually. <laughs> but when I was wearing the pink ones, he's the one that looked at me and went, fucking pink? When I stood in a load of naked men around me and he's looking at my pink underwear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, I just went, oi, it's a real fucking man to wear pink. <laughs> just didn't know what to fucking say. Didn't know what to fucking say. But yeah, I've seen him in there and he threw me a bit of a weird look the other night. He always does. That's why I think he's plod. He's got that judgment in his eyes. Um, you know, but it, I think it, he might also remind me of someone who judges people with his eyes um, and it makes me sick. But it'll be interesting to see his reaction because he's one. he is one of those sort of, I think, yeah, a lot of times... You're right that some men are quite fragile in their masculinity and they have to be like, <laughs> practically walk around beating their fucking chest to prove they're a man. Fuck man. But rather than taking the piss out of them, why don't we look at the fucking bullshit in society that not just men are responsible for, for creating that sense of needing to prove it? Because um, you might not end up with so many men who are like that. <laughs> just a thought. Just a thought. But my thinkoid, I'm really hoping I get a Facebook notification because I didn't know it was in the last one, until I watched it back, how it made my jacket light up, and my t-shirt. <laughs> um, but, what is it? What are we now? Nearly at the end of January, because it's my birthday on Saturday, and that's the 1st of February. <laughs> and I've, yes, I've forgotten the date. I was counting. Now it's gone. But, um, so what is it? Four weeks ago, five weeks ago, it was Christmas week, wasn't it? And that was when oh, I was just fucking... Sorry, my back's aching. Just gonna have to rotate you a little, uh, my sweet. Okay. Ugh. Okay. So no, just maybe just a little more, just to centralise my face. Not quite the right shot there. Not quite the right shot, Gavin. <laughs> Sorry, that was the techies in the background. <laughs> I'd need to learn about this now. I'm a fucking um, a world famous TV producer and presenter. You know, I run my own TV station. <laughs> What the fuck was I on about? Um, it was. I did the gym thing, didn't I? Oh golly, I've done it again. Fucking wrong with me. Ah, uh, they can bring, they can bring. Christmas week, yay! We got it. Um. So it was like I was literally, I didn't want anyone to look at me. I felt sheepish about who I was. Um, and like tonight, like I know I could probably be made to feel sheepish if there was a bit of fucking aggression. I don't think there will be, but you know what I mean? It's like the, there are men like that. Like that bloke that went, what, gay boy? To me, and I'm pretty sure he was just testing me, actually. Maybe the universe sent him to me. Um... But that was, a, I just thought, I loved that. I fucking loved that. What What about if you get a fucking hard on? And I was standing there and going, mate, well, at least I'm fucking honest. Because <laughs> they're going to see it anyway. <laughs> um, and he fucking cracked up. But yeah, it's, um, 
I could be made to feel trepidatious. Uh, but I'm kind of looking forward to it. Again, it was like when I just went up the shop just now. I just kept looking at women's eyelashes. I'm jealous. I've got fucking pathetic eyelashes. There's barely there. There's about like that much of my eye or something. It's got some tiny ones. I'm like, the amount of times I find eyelashes in my eyes, I think, well, they all need to fucking grow the fuck back then because I need something to fucking get hold of. Um, Because then, you know, I'm a candidate for full season. Like, I don't really want to do that because that might make them look too female-y. Do you know what I mean? You can't really get um, falsies which are built to have just natural eyelashes that you would find on most girls. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, a lot of blokes can, you know, if they've got decent fucking eyelashes, you can do a lot with it. But mine are fuck all because I'm fair skinned. My hair, my you know, my hair's really fine and spaced out. It's not bushy. Nothing's bushy. My beard's really, like, thin and whatever. So, so are my eyelashes. Um... But falsies would be a pain in the fucking ass. I just want to paint the ones that I've got and make them look nicer. Um, like from here, I don't think you could tell. If I didn't tell you I was wearing it, I don't think you could tell. But my eyes are standing out. That's the kind of thing I want. But I, I do like crossing the edge to be like, has he got eye makeup on? <laughs> I just love this hand. It's literally like somebody else's hand on the rest of me. It's cool though. They're my claws. I've got claws. The cat fucking loves them. They love sharp edges, don't they? He fucking loves my claws. I love my claws. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I just think, like, is this kind of like my bipolarness? Is it because I'm just stepping into myself even more and more and becoming more confident with it? Or is that a, you know, like the rest of the schizotype? Is that that knee-jerk reaction to create the character to be? Because there's fear around the judgment and the pigeonholing and the boxation and the fucking expectation and the conformity and the fucking bullshittery. So I just want to go, no, 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 come on, label me. Don't label me. Don't fucking label me anything. Don't fucking label me anything. I hate it. I hate it. And again, I know why. I know why. Because of people who deal with labels and once they pronounce a label, they then pronounce this and they start wandering into your head and trying to recalculate what you've said because of a label that they've now decided that you are because of the way you answered that question and that means this and da 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 and you end up not knowing who the fuck you are because it's been at the fucking actual specific actions of others with a purpose <laughs> um, to tell you that you're going insane all the time and then sitting there going well they got what they wanted <laughs> what they fucking wanted because I am fucking insane um, I don't know I don't know <laughs> Or is it like more, am I being belligerent? Because I know there's a side of me, like I said, with my earrings. The only reason I had eight earrings was because people told me that three was too many. So I put one more in each ear. Like, right, okay, now I'll go at six. <laughs> it was like, no, I had two in that ear, one in that. That's it. So I put one in there, and that was three. And another one in there, so that was five. And that was way too many. So I put another one in there, and another one in there. <laughs> I ended up with eight earrings. I just got bored, and I ran out of lobe, and I didn't really want to put them up in the hard bit. But it was just me thinking, oh, fuck off. And that was when I was 18. I was struggling with this shit right back then. Fucking comments on what I'm fucking wearing. And that's not supposed to be that way. And then if I don't like experiencing that, I get told why. Oh, they grew up in a different time. They go, I don't fucking care why. Stop saying why. Why is ludicrous. Why disgusts me. Seriously, I don't need to know why. I need them to stop doing it. That's the conclusion here. What needs to happen is they need to just stop being a dick and then going, it's not my fault I'm a dick, it's when I was brought up for having someone else to do that on their fucking behalf. Because that's supposed to make it better. And all the time, it's like, you know, we're all just talking about the principle of whether or not it should be said and why that's excusable. None of No one's talking about the fucking bullet wound that already fucking happened. <laughs> Yet again, I'm sitting there fucking struggling and looking at the ceiling. And I know I end up like a stroppy looking bitch because I am just thinking, for fuck's sake, how the fuck is this happening? And then I'm getting angry. And so then when I get angry, I have to get some tight lipped because otherwise I'm going to kick the fuck off, make something fucking stupid, throw a fucking stool at the wall and storm out and then have a fucking drama for the next three days. I have to go around apologising to everyone. So then I sit there and go, mm, I think, right, I'm trying to fucking control it. And they go, see, you're still fucking being me, 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 me. Because that gives me away as being smouldering and fucking passive-aggressive. It's like, no, not passive-aggressive. I'm trying not to be aggressive. 
<laughs> I'm trying to fucking hold it in. But I look like I'm deliberately putting it out because you lot don't know how to interpret people. Never mind me not being able to interpret fucking the world around me. It can't interpret me. Or anything. <laughs> I love you, but you're all stupid. You're so fucking stupid. <laughs> um, what was the one? Just back to the whole sort of gay point very quickly. But this is a good example of someone saying, um, are you gay or not? And then they follow it up with, you know, not that it matters or anything. So there they are. They've just done it. They've just done it. They've told you what society thinks because it doesn't matter anymore. So that means it's okay to ask, right? But then you just try and challenge them and go, well, it seems to matter to you. What do you mean? Well, it mattered to you, didn't it? What do you mean? Well, it obviously matters to you. It does not make it matter to me. Oh, wow. Well, it really doesn't matter. If you feel, feel really fucking strongly about the fact that it doesn't matter, what did you ask then? <laughs> Can you not say? Can you not say? People don't ask questions that the answer to doesn't matter. Did you swim to the moon yesterday? Well, the answer to that, <laughs> definitely no, but it doesn't fucking matter. So I won't ask the question about anything that doesn't fucking matter. It mattered when it out of context or slightly in context. Like when someone starts talking about my clothes and da 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 da. And I can tell by the way they start looking at me and talking to me that they're going to ask if I'm gay. And yes, I do get stopped and chatted to about my clothes. And I also get like people coming up and asking for selfies, which I love. <laughs> and I always go, of course you fucking can. I'm a fucking attention whore. <laughs> Um, so yeah it, it does sort of make me stand out and what will I get told I'll get told why told why it's because you stand out so much Mikey fuck me sideways Einstein I've never fucking thought of that one <laughs> is it really because I stand because I what now because I stand what what's standing out what's that to do with anything <laughs> what's this not fitting in of which you refer to which you refer of which you speak <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> it's, you know, I don't know, I don't know, like, I fucking think too much and it's like, no matter what I try, I can't stop thinking, mm, mm, God, sounds, sounds terrible, yeah, I just can't stop, have you tried not thinking? I just told you I could, oh, no, hang on, listen to me, listen to me, because you've had your say, <laughs> that's kind of typical. People just say things which so openly give them away what their fucking attitude is and how much they've listened and then start saying, like, I'm not listening. And that's that's been a few therapy sessions that I've had off of people and I'm just thinking, what the fuck are you trying to achieve here? I'm just fucking... <laughs> I don't know. But then I just, like, you know, I will automatically declare myself to have an attitude problem because of how many fucking times that has been the declaration around me and the confirmation of that by the surrounding others who have declared me to be the only one with the attitude problems. I think, is it just fucking that? That's when you make the conscious decision to just stay away then because you think, all oh, right, if I am a cunt, then I'm a cunt and I'll fucking stay on my own then if I'm a cunt. Because <coughs> I don't want to be a cunt. I don't want to be a cunt. <laughs> you know, if I, if I started to feel that people genuinely thought I was a cunt, I'd fuck off. <laughs> I am fucking off. I'm going to fuck off and live in a field. But um, I do still want friends, please. And I do still want visitors, for fuck's sake. I lived in that flat 17 years and I had, I think, less than 12 <laughs> visitors, like nights where people came and visited for dinner or to stay or whatever. Yeah, sad cunt. There you go. How can you not feel like a sad cunt? <laughs> How can you not? Um, but then I get told everyone likes you. <laughs> Everything that fucking happens, I just get told is not happening. <laughs> and... And I already have trouble figuring it all out. I really don't know what to do here, um, except wear eye makeup. So I'm thinking with this, I could go kind of Keith Flint with it, where I'm sponging it anyway, or the Joker. Um, but I wouldn't want to look like Keith, because like Keith was Keith. I don't want to emulate Keith in any fucking way. That's insulting and pathetic. I do have my Stars and Stripes cardigan, which is actually a fucking Ralph Lauren. <laughs> but it's a tribute to him, because it's similar to the T-shirt he wore in Firestarter. And it's my own tribute to him. I love the cardigan, and it's like... And um, Jimmy Iovine wears it in the fucking um, The Defiant Ones on Netflix. It's a cool cardigan. But, yeah, I wouldn't want to try and look like him. But that kind of style. But then that's not the girly bit, because the girly bit does need to exist as well. I'm not quite sure. 
Um, but at the moment, I think if it was done just a little bit thicker than what it is, it would look banging. It would look banging. It's just this is I haven't learned how to do it properly yet. So I shall hone my skills and look prettier as we go along. 